thanks for joining. My name is Seb Francis from Titus Learning and today we're going to go through a quick overview of the new homework block and how you can set homework for students. Uh, we have done a longer webinar of this as well which I can share in the notes and this will just give you a quick overview of how to get using the block immediately. So we're going to log into our site as a teacher and I will also put in the links where you can download the block and you can see that on our website also on our blog page and you'll see logged into the my dashboard page we've got the homework block in the top left of our course um, so this can be added to the my dashboard it can be added to the home page it can be added to any page within Moodle and what you can do is quickly and easily see what homework's been set and either needs to be submitted if you're a student or what needs to be marked if you are a teacher um, depending on your Moodle setup you can also give access to parents if you wish so logged in as a teacher, we're going to select set homework and the next step is to select the course that this homework will be sitting within. So this will give you a drop down of any courses you're enrolled as a teacher. So we'll select global hazards as the course we're going to choose. On the next page you have your homework settings and what this really is is a, is a slimmed down version of the assignment activity within Moodle. So you'll probably be familiar with quite a few of the settings. Um, so we'll choose the section within the course that, that can sit. So we might put this into um, disaster risk equation, which is one of our topics within the course. Here we can enter a title for the homework, so just new homework January. And here we would enter any description or any instructions that the student needs in order to complete that piece of work. So I'll just tidy up the formatting there. Below, as you can do in any other Moodle activity, you've got the option to add a file or add a supporting document that the students need to, to use to complete the piece of work. So I'm going to drag in, excuse the screen, I'm going to drag in a PDF that the students need to look at before they do the piece of work. It's in geography, which we will type in, and this allows us to do reporting so we can see how many pieces of work have been set and also which um, groups within the course have access to this. So I'm going to select all, but you can see there that's how you would limit this to particular groups of students. The grading scale will just be a standard out of 100, but again, you can choose any of the other grading scales you've got on Moodle. And if you want to specify how long the student should spend on this piece of work, you can add that here. So that's particularly useful if you want to view how much work other teachers are setting and therefore how you want to space it out across the week. So we'll select 30 minutes in this in instance. When's it available from? When's it due? And again, if you are using our Edulink tool, um, which integrates this, the platform with various management information systems, um, then you've got the ability to notify parents, which it will do that via SMS or email. So you can turn that on if you're working with us for the Edulink option. Once that's saved, that piece of work will be uh, submitted for the students to see. Uh, so if we go back to our dashboard, we can see that work that's just been set, new homework for January, so the students will get a notification. Parents, as mentioned, if they're on there, will also see it, and you as a teacher know that that's there to be marked once that's submitted. I uh, hope that gives you a good overview. Any other questions, get in touch on Twitter at TitusLearning.com or pop us an email, hello at TitusLearning.com. Thanks a lot.